Hey guys, it's Diesel, and I'm going to show you how to apply the Steam Overlay to Minecraft for Linux. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have Java installed. So either OpenJDK 7 or Sun's Java 7 will work just fine. I prefer OpenJDK. Minecraft uh, suggests Sun. Either one works fine, though. So first thing you want to do is go to Games up here, or add a game, and go to Add Non-Steam Game. And you are going to want to browse to where you installed your Java, and by default it goes to user, bin, and file type, all files. Now, remember your alphabet and go down to J. Oh, that's L. Now we're in J, and there you go, Java. So now, oops. Or you could just type in Java, I guess. Oops. So now you're gonna click Add Selected Program. So now, this is just Java's executable. You click play, nothing will ever happen, no matter how many times you click play. So we're going to right click, we're going to go to properties, and we're going to rename this to Minecraft. And now for target, um, you have to do dash jar, I think first, yes, dash jar first. And now if you want to allocate, you can go right, as you can see to my right here on the sticky note, you can um, allocate RAM this way. So one gigabyte is 1024M, which means megabytes. And so you want to do 1024M times the size you want for your number of gigabytes. So examples such as 1 gigabyte is 1024 up to 4096, etc. Just by doing 1024 times the number plus M. So now, I have 16 gigs of RAM and I'm willing to spend 4 gigabytes on this, on Minecraft. So 4096M. Um, I'll just put that in M um, and now we want to go to our type in our Minecraft path in quotes so we're gonna go to home and we're gonna go to our Minecraft folder which is uh, which is mine if you already know it then just go ahead and type it in I know mine but I'm gonna show you an easier way of knowing your location you go to the folder you go to the file right click properties and it'll tell you its location so now you want to put exactly what that says here in quotes so home uh, my username, uh, and then downloads, desktop, wherever yours is, and then make sure you type any capitals that are in the path. Now, so, now this will start Minecraft. Close, play. So there you go, the Minecraft console is starting. Now Minecraft itself is starting, and I'll demonstrate the fact that it has the Steam overlay. See, access the Steam community while playing. We got the settings. Change your username, your microphone settings, in-game settings, whatever you want to do. We got the functional web browser, which works fine. Hey cows, pet the cow, pet the cow. I wanted to pet the cow. And then we got um, our friends. Hmm. I'll send a message to one of them. So there you go, it's working. It'll say that you're in a non-Steam game, Minecraft. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to this tutorial. You can access it while playing in-game as well. Oh, survival, oh well. You can also access it in-game, which is a nice little thing. So like, if you uh, forgot how to make, uh, say, a trapdoor, or no, a lead. A lead just type in lead minecraft there you go right there so you just click on minecraft wiki and it'll teach you how with the crafting recipe right there see so that's very handy while you're in the middle of the game so now we're just going to save and quit leave and there you go that concludes the tutorial on how to install the or sorry enable the steam overlay on minecraft for linux just one more thing, if you want to add an icon, just go to choose icon and then browse to where your icon is. Now unfortunately I don't have the Minecraft icon that I'd like to use. Actually, you know what, I'll just grab one real quick. So let's just grab a quick Minecraft icon. Um, hmm. I guess I'll just use the normal one. Nine diamonds are cooler. So we're going to save the image. We're going to save it to hmm, 
pictures dot icon so it's a hidden and we're gonna save it as mine minecraft.png and now we're gonna go to choose icon now look it uh, Steam looks for .tgas and .pngs so we're gonna go to home diesel or wherever you saved it to navigate dot icons minecraft there you go boom now it won't update the icon until you click away from it and now you can easily create a desktop shortcut which will in turn run minecraft with the steam overlay penguins hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, comment if you have any problems or suggestions. Thank you.